guys. Um, so I wanted to do another what I eat in a day because it's been a few weeks since I did my last one and I think that was from my vacation. Um, so I just wanted to show you quickly and I'm sorry it's so dark in here but I don't have my light behind the camera. Um, but anyway, I'm just going to make my uh, breakfast. I'm eating some yogurt today so I'm just going to use this container and stuff it with delicious toppings. And then I'm making some cold brew lemonade and then I also already made my lunch for today and uh, it just looks like this. So this is some um, macaroni, uh, cherry tomatoes and cucumbers and then I put some um, basil, basil in English. It's so dark, I'm sorry, I gotta have to move you guys. Okay, that's a lot better. Uh, some um, basil olive oil, I have some uh, garlic salt, some uh, freshly cracked black pepper and also some chili flakes so that's going to be my lunch for today and then now I'm just going to make my cold brew lemonade and then I'm gonna fill up my yogurt and then we're gonna eat okay so when I'm making my cold brew lemonade I'm using a big orange and I'm just going to put that into my jar I'm bringing this to work which is why I use a mason jar so I'm putting a strainer and I'm just gonna um, juice both the halves of the lemon and I put it through a strainer so I don't have to worry about um, if there's any stones in the orange because you can't always tell. So this is basically just like a regular lemonade but instead of using water you use um, cold brew coffee which if you don't know cold brew coffee is just a type of coffee that has been brewed overnight in cold water which makes it um, more sweet and less bitter. And uh, I'm just trying my best to get all the juice out of the lemon. Since I don't like black coffee, this has been my kind of healthier way to eat, drink my coffee in the morning if I don't feel like using milk. And then I just take the juice thingy and then I just stir it around so I get all the juice through the strainer. So I have quite a bit of juice here in the bottom and then I have my cold brew coffee right here and I also pour this through the lemon pulp. And I just fill the glass to the top, almost. Okay, I don't have any more cold brew left, so that's gonna have to do. Cold brew lasts for about five days in the fridge, so it's a really nice time saver if you have the space to just make a lot and then just leave it. Okay, so. So this is the cold brew and uh, this is just some simple syrup and I'm just going to pour that in there just a little bit that much if you pour too much kind of removes the taste of the coffee and then I bring a glass straw to work and uh, I drink mine there and uh, we have ice cubes there too so I'm going to fill this with ice cubes and bring it to work like that. Okay, so I'm just gonna stuff my yogurt and I am having the All Pro Natural and this is about halfway full, I think it's about here. And then inside there, I'm just putting some muesli. This is some crunchy muesli, which is granola, but Norway doesn't know what granola is. I'm also putting in some seed mix, a mix of flax seed, hemp seeds and chia seeds and I'm going to put some of that in there too because it's all healthy fats. I'm also going to put in some um, cranberries, the dried ones, a bit of shredded coconut and I'm topping it all off with some agave. So obviously you can tell by now that I like my um, yogurt quite loaded with stuff. Okay, so I'm just gonna eat my breakfast and uh, I'm going to work. I'm having kitchen training today. 
So I'll be on the phone from... Mm. I'll be on the phone from 9 o'clock when I start work till 10.30. And then I'm having my second day of IKEA training. Poor kitchen. Um, today is the 26th. And, um, yeah, I've been working here for month and a week ish and um, I'm not well I'm technically halfway through my training because there are four skills to learn but my uh, training isn't done until mid July but I'm excited because I'll get to learn so much and um, I mean, it's nice to try something different, right? And I really like kitchens. I hope I'll be able to build my own someday, like the way I want it to be. And we have like, I, um, um, we have like a question what is the most important thing for, me, for you in a kitchen. And I think for me, like you've seen my kitchen, it's very tiny and it's kind of dark because there are all like wooden panels like behind me. Oh, this is my new pillow from eBay. It's super cute, but it's kind of like a burlap sack material. Okay, I moved it so you can be in the video too. Oh, oh yeah, kitchen wishes. Like, I would like a big kitchen, and it has to be light, and I would like, like, you know, marble. Um, it doesn't have to be real marble, but just, like, the marble feeling, like, in my, um, desk right there. Um, <clears throat> like a kitchen island. Tons of cabinet space. It's a dream. Oh, and I um, my blender has been broken for a while, so I'm going to buy a new one today, and I'm getting like a proper one, like with the big like thing on top, not like a to-go blender like the one that I have now. I'm super excited. And. I was planning to go for a walk this morning, but then when I set my alarm, I managed to set it for 6.50 instead of 5.50, so I didn't have time to do so. Now it's about 8 o'clock and I have to leave in five, uh, 15 minutes. But I've done anything, everything I need to do. I made my lunch, I made coffee, I'm eating breakfast, I did my makeup today. And I know these videos are very chatty in the morning when I'm alone. And then for lunch at work and dinner at home, I don't really talk a lot. Which makes my breakfast portion the very time consuming part of this video for like, for watching at least. Mm. But I hope you don't mind. Sorry guys, my camera died. Um, but anyway, so I got my lipstick on and uh, this is Dr. M from Colourpop. And uh, I put on a necklace which is from eBay and uh, I'm pretty much ready to head out the door. So I'm going to grab all my food and uh, get going. So uh, yeah. I really hope you enjoy these videos though. I got kind of cut off mid-sentence earlier. But uh, if there's anything you would like me to change to make you enjoy these more, then please let me know. And um, yeah, I'll uh, see you when I eat a snack or a lunch or something. Yeah? Good snack. Mm -hmm.
Men eh, jag får inte dra Välkommen till Ikea, jag ska inte sänta dig och snacka med Kristina På måndag eller tisdag så skulle vi börja så vitt det var med köken så vitt jag skönte. Okay. Så det är liksom en montering av det då. Ja. Så det blir kul. So I stopped by a uh, uh, like a chain store to get my new blender that I was talking about, and uh, I'd already looked online. And um, online, it was like I had three different ones that I liked, and then when I got to the store, they were actually sold out of two of them. And uh, the one that I wanted the most was the um, Bosch. Um, it's called a Silent Mix. I don't remember the exact name of it, but it's like the most expensive of the two ones, I think, that's the silent mix. And the price difference was like nothing at all. So I figured I'd just get get that one and uh, I was settled on it and it was like cool. And then they only had like one, which was like a used, so it was like a B where I don't know what you call it in English, but it's been used, so it's had a slightly lower price. So I ended up getting the other one and it's actually a more expensive machine to begin with. Um, it's from Philips, I think it's the HR 3651 and um, it's supposedly a really good machine and uh, they have a 30 day return policy so I can get anything, try it out and uh, if I don't like it I can just return it, get my money back or buy another one, whatever I want. So that's the plan. Um, I'm really uh, sorry that they didn't have that mix one because it's quieter. Um, because you know blenders are super crazy noisy and uh, it's a pain especially like making breakfast and when people are sleeping um, but when they're sold out like what are you gonna do I broke my blender so I need a new one today I can't go around waiting forever so uh, yeah I'll show you the blender when I get home obviously I'm on my way home right now uh, I'm not quite sure what I want to make for dinner today, but I kind of want to try out my new blender. But I, because it's like really nice and warm and it's blue skies and stuff like that. But like you saw, I already ate a salad for lunch, so I don't really feel like a salad. But I want something light and fresh. So I'm not quite sure. Um, I have to stop by the store too, because we're going to bar barbecue tomorrow, so I gotta buy some food. So this lipstick is holding up really well. I had to touch it up before I left for work because I had like a um, white part here, I think, because the salad had a little bit of oil in it. And uh, I think some of the oil um, made my lipstick go away. So I touched it up and it feels kind of thick on my lips right now, right here. Maybe I'll stop by Starbucks. It's not, that's not healthy at all. Because um, I'm going to the mall to buy some stuff because I'm going to eat big grocery and they are more expensive and it's at the mall but they have the better selection especially of like vegan goods so I didn't get Starbucks I got ice cream instead this is the tofu line caramel toffee and um, this is the best thing of life so I decided to um, like, I try to be healthy most of the day, and I can have, like, one cheat thing, if I would like. Um, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. So, um, this is what it looks like. Mm. And, um, it's, like, caramel inside. 
and I found out what I wanted to eat today for dinner. So I'm making a salad and I got some naan bread that I'll be um, eating with my salad as well, the garlic kind and of course the milk free kind. everything that I ate today. So I hope you enjoy and I'll see you guys later.